Hello everybody. So I thought that I would do a video talking about my favorite novel, No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, and talk about how it compares to the film No Country for Old Men uh, by the Coen brothers, Joel Coen and Ethan Coen. And the film is perhaps my favorite film. Um, so it's perhaps my favorite film and it's my favorite novel. So I saw the film um, before I read the novel, and I actually saw the film before I even knew who Cormac McCarthy was. And I was at the bookstore after seeing the film, and I, and I saw the book, and I purchased the book, and I started to read it, and the writing style really jumped out at me. I really like Cormac McCarthy's writing style. And long story short, I've read the novel listened to the audiobook of the novel dozens of times. I would not be surprised if I've listened to certain chapters or certain parts of the novel 100 times or more, or read certain parts of the novel 100 times or more. Um, yeah, it's my, it's my favorite novel, and um, I just really like the writing style. So how does this novel, No Country for Old Men, compare to the film? Well, the comparison is very strong. The script is very, very faithful to the novel. It almost seems like when the Coen brothers were sitting down and writing the script, um, they copied the novel word for word in many parts. So the comparison is very strong. What to talk about would be what is different. So... What is different? Okay. One scene that stands out in the film, the antagonist, Anton Chigurh, he pretends he's broke down on the side of the road. Um, someone comes to help him, but what he really wants to do is swap vehicles, and it implies that he kills this man that came to help him. That is not in the novel. Another part that's not in the novel is, um, okay, when Anton Chigurh kills a man with, with birdshot. Okay, that's in the novel. Yes, he does kill the man with birdshot, same way in the film as in the novel. It looks like it's birdshot that he was shot with uh, that came through his, uh, his um, one of his signature weapons, the uh, shotgun with the... Uh, beer can sized silencer on it so that's in the film that's in the novel um, but the accountant that says are you going to shoot me and Cormac McCarthy or Anton Chigurh's character says well that depends do you see me um, so that's in the film but that's but that's not in the novel let's see what else okay what is in the novel that is not in the film well at the beginning of the film, it shows um, Anton Chigurh getting arrested. And throughout the entire film, uh, that's up in the air. What happened? Why was he being arrested? But in the novel, he explains why he was arrested. He basically explains that he allowed himself to be arrested and taken into custody um, to see if he could escape through an act of will. And he later says that it was a vain thing to do, a foolish thing to do. And that's um, him being shot by Llewellyn Moss, um, like him being injured. He started to think about his life and to, th and to think about certain decisions that he did. And uh, he said that he feels as though he finally caught up with himself, implying that, uh, you know, he's not going to um, allow himself to get arrested again, perhaps. So that's actually in the novel, and it explains what he was arrested for. A man was laughing at him uh, while he was eating at a restaurant, and uh, he was going to just ignore the guy and leave it at that. Um, but the guy said something to him again. It doesn't say exactly what the guy said to him uh, that upset him, but it was an insult. It, it implies it was an insult. And he says that he motions with his head, to, for for the um, for this guy to come out to the parking lot, 
So the guy comes out to the parking lot. Anton Chigurh kills him in the parking lot. He doesn't really say how. Um, but the guy's uh, friends, the, guys, the, the guy that's killed, uh, his friends come out, you know, see what's going on uh, to help their friend. And then later on, Anton Chigurh is pulled over and, and taken into custody. And Anton Chigurh says that he allowed that to happen. So, yeah, none of that is in the film. So that's why um, Anton Chigurh was arrested. Uh, something else that's not in the film, that's in the novel, uh, Llewellyn Moss, uh, he picks up a hitchhiker, a teenage hitchhiker, uh, who's hitchhiking her way to California. Llewellyn Moss stops to eat. Uh, she eats with him. Um, he pays for her meal. Um, he even pays for her hotel room. Um, they don't share a room, so Llewellyn Moss is still being very faithful to his wife. Uh, he's the protagonist, and he's a good protagonist. Uh, he's, you know, he's faithful to his wife in this situation. The, uh, so, the female hitchhiker, she has her, her room. Luella Moss has his room. Um, he says to her, you know, I know you're not old enough to drink, but you can have one of these, uh, one of these uh, beers with me. Uh, so they sit, they talk. She has a beer, he has a beer. She asks for more beer. Or if there's any more beer, and he says, "Yeah, there's two more," and I and I aims to drink both of them, implying that he's not going to give her any more beer. The hitchhiker is actually killed um, when Luella Mass is killed. Um, he's killed in the uh, in the film. He's killed in the novel. Um, but in this case, the uh, the female uh, hitchhiker, who's hitchhiking her way to California, uh, she gets killed as well. Um, not by Shiger, but by uh, Mexicans. It's implied that they're Mexicans that are involved in the uh, in the drug trade, uh, just like in the uh, in the, the novel or in the film rather. The hitchhiker has red hair. Uh, it doesn't really go into much detail uh, other than she has red hair. She's a teenager. She's, I think, it ends up saying that she's sixteen. Um, uh, Sheriff Bell, when he's at the morgue, I think it's at the morgue. Uh, his some, so, someone he's working with says she was a skanky looking thing, and uh, you know they're pondering how is this going to go over with uh, Llewellyn Moss's wife, you know her husband being with a hitchhiker. Um, it even says later in the novel, uh, when it's first person narration from uh, Sheriff Bell's perspective, um, he's saying that uh, you know he wanted to tell Llewellyn Moss's wife Carla Jean Moss that. Uh, that, uh, you know, the papers were, were lying, you know, with the things that they were implying about your husband and, uh, and uh, this girl. You know, those, those things were just not true. Uh, something else that's in the novel is, uh, well, after Anton Chigurh gets in a car crash, uh, the two boys that, that help him, uh, in the novel, Sheriff Bell, later on, he's, he's questioning those, those boys. Um, and they describe what Anton Chigurh looks like. But the description is very vague. Um, you know, it says that he's medium. He's medium. He's average. He looks like anybody. Um, Sheriff Bell even asks if he was Mexican. And one of the boys says, no, I don't think so. But he was uh, just kindly dark complected is all. Um, so none of that uh, is in the film. Although in the film, we can actually see Anton Sugar, But in the novel, we can't really see him. It doesn't say anything about his hair. Um, you know, the the infamous haircut, the famous hairstyle that he has in uh, the film. That's that's not in uh, the novel. Uh, the novel describes how he smells. Uh, he smells like a, like a foreign cologne with a medicinal edge to it. Let's see here. What else? Oh, Carla Jean is uh, killed by Anton Chigurh. It kind of implies that in the film, but in the novel... Um, she actually goes ahead and calls the coin toss. She calls wrong, and Anton Chigurh kills her. Um, it kind of implies that in the film, though, um, that he shoots her because uh, when he leaves her home, he's uh, checking his boots, you know, checking them for uh, blood. The same way he lifted his uh, boots um, away from the blood after he killed uh, after he killed uh, Woody Harrelson's character, um, Wells. 
Carson Wells. So yeah, he kills Carson Wells in the novel as well. Uh, let's see what else is different. Well, there's there's just a lot more that's in the novel. I have the um, the original cover here. It's paperback, but it's not the first edition. The first edition is uh, is hardcover. Uh, I would like to get a hardcover copy, and I imagine someday I will. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd talk about this novel and uh, how it compares. Uh, what's in it that is uh, not in the film. But yes, it's a, a novel that I uh, that I recommend. Okay, I will actually, I guess this video here, it's actually foreshadowing what is to come. I will actually have uh, more content on No Country for Old Men. Uh, I guess a bit of an analysis. I would actually uh, maybe like to talk about the Anton Chigurh character more. Um, I'm actually currently working on a novel, uh, which I will have published this year. That is certainly the plan. Um, and uh, a video that will be coming soon will actually be um, a video vlog that uh, will uh, a video vlog that will span the uh, so a writing vlog that will cover the course of a week with me um, uh, going through some chapters and doing what is I guess you could say is um, a second or a third draft another draft of uh, the novel so yeah if that's a video I'm working on and uh, yeah. Just thought I'd do this video and talk about uh, a novel that is a novel that I that I really enjoy and that uh, has a writing style that I that I admire a lot. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care.